From Inc. Magazine, 8 things successful people do that lazy people do not. Successful people plan ahead. One of the best advices I ever learned from my mentor when I was 19 years old was get to your day before your day gets to you. Pre-plan your day every single day. Very, very rarely can anyone text me the day of and say, can you meet up? The answer is usually no, because I already pre-planned my day that day. There's no way you're going to be able to hit me up the day of. No way and try to squeeze an appointment because on such short notice. I already have my entire shooting schedule. Squeeze me in. I have my entire filming schedule. Squeeze me in. I have my entire schedule pre-planned of everything I'm gonna do the night before. Squeeze me in. in most cases, I'm usually 48 hours to 72 hours booked ahead of time. Even if I wanted to go, my schedule wouldn't allow it. So usually someone needs to hit me three, four, five days ahead. Four o'clock. Wallow in self-pity. To be able to even get a hold of me. Five o'clock, solve world hunger. Tell no one. Because if they're trying to get a hold of me within 5.30, jazzercise. 24, 48, or 72 hours, I'm usually back. I'm booked. Now, I've decided to make myself this busy. 6.30, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. Why? Because I have vision, ambition, desires, and goals. Seven o'clock, wrestle with myself, loathing. There's things I want to accomplish. Well, I think it's amazing you young ladies have the patience to be so accomplished. There's 24 hours in the day. People say she is accomplished. Accomplished. And I was shocked when my mentor broke down for me. I'm no longer surprised at your knowing only six accomplished women. How much time I wasted. And it is a small kind of accomplishment, I suppose. I would eat for an hour for breakfast. Lunch, I would spend another hour. Dinner, I would spend another hour. That was three hours of just eating I would spend. And my mentor said, look, if you condense the time of how much you eat, instead of spending an hour a day eating and giving yourself that hour, maybe 20 minutes. So instead of spending three hours, because an hour a meal, instead of spending three hours a day, and I only spent 20 minutes, it only became one hour was good for three meals instead of three hours. So I just saved two hours worth of time that I can invest into my craft, that I can invest into my girlfriend, that I can invest into my mom, that I can invest into my business. Whatever it was though, it was amazing how I would spend so much time doing certain things and I was just wasting my time away. And why the f are you wasting my two precious hours? The masters of working out with perfect bodies, they would tell me that so many people spend two, three, four hours at the gym and they don't even work out that whole time versus people where they did nothing but work out for that full 60 minutes that they got more out of that one hour than people who can stay there for two, three hours that are just wasting time. They're on their phone texting, on social media, getting to the workout, then off of it, talking to people and doing all these other things versus just focusing that 60 minutes on just purely working out. So if you look at that your day and break it down. Three, two, one. Get down like do not allow yourself to waste any more time. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share on social media. See everybody tomorrow.